Okay, uh, I said I was just going to pause the video, but actually, uh, I think I hit a button in it. Actually, just close that video out, and this is now part three. But uh, whatever, good deal, moving along. Um, Got to turn off that screen time out, and I hate that. It doesn't need to be that quick. My little uh, shortcut thing. Um, right off the bat, as I'd expect, you know, definitely looking nice here. Same as uh, same appearance as this guy over here, you know. I never changed the battle care about the background, whatever. But uh, we get uh, again. This is a uh, you know a quick run over the specs. This is an Nvidia Tegra 3 T30 quad core. It uh, that's actually a Cortex A9. Uh, it's the same uh, that they used in the Tegra 2, where they used uh, two times Cortex A9 for the Tegra 2 250s. These uh, Tegra 3s, they're using uh, four times Cortex A9, sorry. And uh, that's the T30, 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, and then you got yourself your one gigabyte of uh, DDR3, 1333 megahertz RAM. This guy has 32 gigabytes of uh, onboard eMMC flash storage RAM. And uh, it is powered now by a SATA 2 controller. This has the new GeForce graphics with uh, 12 shaders or pipelines, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm not sure if they're really doing shaders quite yet in this technology, but uh, the uh, there is 12 rather than 8 in the previous model. This guy uh, is definitely uh, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. After I have some uh, fun with this, I might put out another video here, but I just thought I'd do a quick little unboxing, give everybody a good idea of what we're messing with. But again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, I look forward to reading them. Thank you, and any questions as well. Bye.